Welcome back to Learn As You Explore for another MBOT2 video. In this video, I'll walk you through the MBlock web-based coding environment so you can start coding ASAP. Let's dive right in. So to first open the MBlock code editor, what you want to do is head to mblock.cc. And once you're on that page, you want to click on the code with block button. And that opens up the mblock editor. An editor is also called an IDE. An IDE stands for Integrated Development Environment and is a tool that programmers use to write, test, and upload code to different devices. For us, this IDE is how we will communicate with our MBOT2 or MBOT Neo robot. Now let's explore the interface. The first thing that we want to check out is the menu bar. The menu bar is essentially this section of the editor. We have options to save our project. We could import from our computers. We could save a project to a computer using the menu bar. You can change language here if you prefer. The next section in the editor is the stage section. This area of the editor lets you test your code with a virtual panda sprite. A sprite is just a character that mBlock has developed in order to test your code before you load that code onto your mBot2 or mBot Neo robot. The next section that we'll look at is this devices, sprites, and background panel. Here you can switch between coding for your robot, which would be in the devices tab, or you can switch to coding for the panda sprite using the sprites tab. We'll go through this section next. This is called the block commands section. From here, we can drag and drop blocks onto the workspace to build your program. Blocks are grouped by categories. For example, each of these are categories and the motion category contains blocks that are related to motion like moving, turning, go to the mouse pointer and others. We will take a detailed look at some of these while we build a small project towards the end of this video. The next section of the editor that we will take a look at is the workspace. The workspace is this grid-like area where you can create your program by snapping blocks together, dragging them from the different sections that we looked at. You can drag them and you can snap them on like so and build your program this way. Moving on to the next section, we have the documents bar here. The documents bar provides some useful information like a user guide for references. You have some example programs that you can use, or you can also provide feedback to the MakeBlock community. The next section is the blocks and the Python switch. So this is essentially a switch that can toggle between the editing modes. There are two primary editing modes. One is the blocks, which is what we're looking at. And the other is using Python scripting. For now, we'll just stick to the blocks editing mode to keep it simple. So those are the main sections of the IDE. It is now time to write our first program. Let's make the Panda Sprite move forward. Select the Sprites tab. Make sure that you have the Sprites tab selected and then add an event block. So what we want to do is we want to control when the program starts. So in the events block category, you have a when green flag is clicked block. What this does is it triggers whatever follows this block whenever this green flag here is clicked. So let's bring this to our workspace by clicking and dragging to our workspace. Now, since our goal here with this program is to make the Panda Sprite move forward, what we'll do is we'll go into the motion block category. Since we would just want to move forward, we can simply use the move 
10 steps block. And we can click and drag that over here. Now you can see that as I bring this block closer to the previous block, there's a shadow that appears. So if you let go of this, the block will magically snap to the previous block. And that's what we want because this is one logical sequence of events that we want to happen. So as of now, what does our code say? Let's kind of review it quickly. So we're saying when the flag green flag button is clicked, we want the panda to move 10 steps. Now let's go ahead and test out our very first program by clicking on the green flag. And you'll notice that the panda jumps from here to somewhere forwards. Let's click the green flag button. Oh, and yay, we saw him move a little bit. If you want to see him move much farther away with each click, this block, move 10 steps, is customizable. So if you look at this 10, you can change that value. So if you say move 100 steps, he's going to move much farther away. Let's test that out by clicking on the green flag icon. Oh, there you go. You see that the panda sprite has moved a lot more now. If you want to move the panda back, just click and drag the panda back to where you want it to be. And again, you can go ahead and continue testing your code. Congratulations on writing your first program. So now it's your turn. Here's a follow-up exercise that you can do to get more familiar and get practice with the environment as well as the block programming. Can you make the panda move 150 steps and then turn 90 degrees? Let me know in the comments if you got it or where you need help. If you found this video helpful, hit the like button and subscribe for more our Mbot Neo tutorials. If you haven't assembled your Mbot Neo or Mbot 2 robot yet, watch my first video in this playlist that I will link to in the description below. Thank you for joining me once again, and I'll see you in the next one.